Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. Once more again, the Lord bless each and every one of us for joining for in Jesus' name. Today again, it has pleased God that I come with this prophetic word, hallelujah. And the prophetic title says, all your neighbors are in trouble, hallelujah. All your neighbors, they are in serious trouble, hallelujah. The Lord bless each and every one of us for coming across this channel for in Jesus name. Hallelujah. If this is your first time seeing my face, may the good Lord bless you family. My name is Basil. I'm the man available. When God wants to bless, God looks for a man that is available. When God wants a messenger, he looks for a man that is available. So uh, I'm the man that is available that God has been helping to come with prophetic words every day. May the good Lord bless you all family for in Jesus' name. Please become part of this family as you're subscribing, you're liking, you're sharing God's word. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray, Lord. Amen and amen. This particular prophetic word, hallelujah. The Lord just laid this word in me. The Lord says, hallelujah. All your neighbors are in trouble because this is something that has been happening for, for, for quite some time now but the atmosphere has been silent so i saw something that is about to be a to be reversed in the realms of the spirit i saw something that is about to like backfire i saw something that is about to to be returned praise master jesus this is something that your neighbors has been doing for so many years now but the law says this act is coming to an end because something is about to happen when the lord gave me this particular prophetic word there is a saying that says, I was good. Hearing one, one story from, from a man, this guy was saying, I don't know if this story is true or false, but I, I found something interesting, hallelujah, when I was listening to this story. The guy said, there was a particular house whereby a lot of people were living there. And this house, whenever you pack in into this house, your life begins to go down. No matter how strong in the spirit you were before, your spiritual life died. Even if you were prospering financially, your financial life becomes a battle. So a lot of people have noticed that whenever you pack it in that house, either you, you, you leave the house poor or you leave the house sick or, or you leave the house, the house dead. So the house rent was very cheap just for people to, to pack in. But yet a lot of people were running. But the problem was not a physical house. The problem was what was happening in the realms of the spirit. So the problem of the house was that the house was a junction, a meeting point of where witches and wizards always passes. So whenever they are going for their meeting, they'll fly over this house. So any house that they have made their way, like whenever they are flying on the house, they take the blessings and everything Everyone living on that house, like they take their blessing, their star, their law. So that has been the problem. So there was a man, a brother, that was living just opposite that building in that particular vicinity. So he has been hearing about this story. He said, no, how can I be paying the house ring? Let me just illustrate an example in dollars so that everybody can understand. So this young guy said, how can I be paying a house worth $2,000? why the, the 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 nature of the house is not even good than the house that is opposite me meanwhile the house that is opposite the opposite me they are giving it only for 500 dollars and the one is more better more good hallelujah clean better than the one i'm paying for two thousand dollars all in the name of fear that when everybody entered it, they will not prosper the man said i'm a child of god so this man was a christian like he boasts his faith, his faith was bigger than, than that house. So he said, no, for the sake of, of what is going on, I'm going to park there. So this man parked in that house. People were telling him not to go. If he entered that house, definitely his, his life will, will go down. There will be attacked, a lot of things. The man said, no issue. As long as the house can accommodate me and my family, I'll go in. So the day the guy checked in, it was the very day, it was the day those witches and wizards are supposed to fly to their checkpoint. And each day they passes, they do their initiation. That very day, 
That was the same day the guy checked in. And that faithful night, that is the reason why I always tell people pray. I always tell people pray, pray. No matter what you're doing, pray. Do not limit God. Do not minimize yourself. Pray. Hallelujah. Whenever you buy a new clothes, pray. A new car, pray. Whenever you're eating, pray. Just pray. Hallelujah. Just pray. Don't have a particular... Just pray. This guy checked it in that house because he already knew the atmosphere. That day, it was 11 o'clock. The guy told the wife that this tonight we are going to this our first night. But I know midnight is, is a night of warfare. This guy said we are going to take an hour of prayer between 11 to 1. So they began to pray. Mande Yakabada, Lepebende, Buba Baba. All the family were Kabachina. Lebebe. Lord, we enter this house in peace. Lord, we come against whatever forces that has been cast holding people, holding the life of people. They were praying, Ma Shata Yabada. Lebedebede. A lot of people thought that their life would go down. As they were praying. Okay, 12 midnight. Like 12 midnight was the, the time that they were flying, that those witches were to fly. So one of them that, that always fly on that particular house, the moment that witch was flying, the witch saw fire on that same house. There, there was no way for the witch to cross. So the witch had to, to wait until that brother finished prayers. The moment the brother finished prayer, the witch crosses now, went to the meeting. So the witch went late. The punishment of his late coming that day was dead. So they decided to kill the witch. And the witch was the one that was assigned to always take authority over that house. So they gave that witch three days to live. That in three days, he would die. So the witch had to come back to that house to explain what happened. That there was somebody that was praying here last night, yesterday. I was crossing. So the man started confessing. That is how the man received his deliverance and that is how everybody in that house received their deliverance so that means the moment you pack in somewhere praise master jesus that you know what you carry people are in trouble hallelujah i am led by the spirit of god this story is exactly what god showed me that is about to happen this story is exactly what is about to happen the law says your evil neighbors are in trouble praise master jesus Listen to me, if you have noticed that each time you go to bed, like serious attack, consistent attack, you hear noise, you hear some type of things, you see strange spirit, like you just feel strange present, you don't know where it's coming from, the Lord says, as from today they are in trouble, because something is coming upon you, the Bible says, so far not a wish, if they do not repent tonight, they will not sleep. I want to stand in agreement with somebody. I don't know if you claim this prophetic word. Start by claiming it at the comment section. Say, man of God, I agree with you. My evil neighbors will not sleep. If you are my neighbor, that you wish me dead, that you wish me to go down. Anything that you wish for me, it will return back. Are we ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, Lord, I declare and I decree for as many that are joining and watching under the sound of my voice. Lord, we pray that any evil neighbor, any evil neighbor, that has vowed that over their dead body for us to rise. Lord, you say they are in trouble because a fresh anointing is descending from heaven. Father, you say we should suffer not a wish to live, but tonight we give them two options. Either they repent or they go down because the devil cannot show us mercy. We stand in agreement as a church for in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all family. Thank you for watching. For in Jesus' name, amen.